Okay, a few people have been having problems with images into the forum, so I'm just going to go through these steps because not only will it save you some time, uh, get rid of the hassles, but it'll also make your files smaller, which means it doesn't take up so much space on the hard drive for the server, but also it means it's faster loading for everybody because it's, the files are smaller. Um, anyway, let's get to it. First thing we need to do is create a new topic, um, just so we've got something to add into. First thing we got to do is decide what we're writing about. This one will be uh, tattoo home service, which is in regards to a friend of mine that had a tattoo outside in the yard. So we just put uh, my friend having a tattoo in our compound on home service. So we need to load an image up. So this is where the images go, attachments and other options. Now before we actually go here, we need to check the image out. This is a photograph. You can see this one at 3.26 megabytes. That's a big photo. Uh, the other one here, 3.13. These are huge. Um, if you imagine, these are megabytes. These are millions, millions of bytes. That's why, mega. Anyway. So we know this is too big for what we want. So we go to Pix Resizer, load the picture. We know it's 1978, so we just scroll down. 19, 1978. As you can see, it's 3,346 kilobytes. I'll now save it to the desktop. Give it a name that's more uh, easy to remember, especially if you're doing multiple files. Tattoo at home. Generally I, treat, I keep the 600 by 400, which are the dimensions of the photograph, so that I know it's a smaller image. It's done. It's put it to my desktop. So if we go to the desktop now, You can see it's here. Look at this size. It's not no longer 3,300 and something. It's just 54.2. That's a tiny, tiny photo in comparison. But now we got our photo. We just look for it. It's the last thing we we altered. So what I generally do is with this window, I will just go arrange icons by modified. That will give me the last image that went to that folder. Now you have multiple options on this window. End of post, expandable thumbnail, basically it means it'll put it as the last thing on the post after the text and everything else, and you can just hover over it and it'll expand out. Generally though, because it's a small file, I normally go for full-size image. As you can see now, it knows it's a full-size image and it's inserted here, attachment image one. That's the first first file, the first attachment, so that is image one. So now we've got that, we just need to turn around and post it. We've got nothing else to add to the topic, so that, that's everything. It takes a little bit longer to do this now for the, for the upload, simply because it's actually uploading the image onto the server. Once it's complete, it will take you back to the uh, top of the topics or onto the forum. And if you click on the tattoo home service now, it's going to take a few seconds. You should now see the photographs appeared. It's not overhanging on the page, it's not too big. It's, it's a good size for the, for the actual um, forum usage. Because we don't need giant photos, we're just after the image. Uh, just an idea of what's going on. If, we're not printing off posters or... Uh, well, even this, this size is okay for a photograph for most people. But the, the main thing of getting the size down on photographs is Pix Resizer. So if you just Google Pixresizer, you will come across this site, which is Pixresizer 
.en.softtonic.com. Just click, click on the free download and you'll get the file for free as well. It's, it's useful for a lot of things. Um, if you're doing multiple files, you can actually uh, change it to do entire folders, which I'll cover on the next video.